What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel now Today we've got my honest thoughts on India by the man Drew Binsky aka Ben Stokes You have a look at him here. I tell you what he looks a bit like Ben Stokes So it makes it a little bit hard to actually look at his face um, But it's okay. We'll get past that. But hey if you guys are new subscribe we're on that way to 4,000 subscribers um, But hey, I was sent this one through the Instagram DMs about 300 times um, obviously over exaggeration. I don't have that many people in my DMs, but look a few people sent this to me um, And said they thought it would be interesting if I reacted to it. It's short. It's an it's a video that you know Will be good supposedly Let's check it out. <laughs> Let's go Days on the road. I get a lot what? of requests from my Indian friends to come to India. I don't know how quick this man thinks I can read. I'm not a fucking Albert Einstein. Yeah, so I decided to make me? this video with my honest thoughts on the country, which is a love-hate relationship. I spent really? three months backpacking solo around India in okay. early 2015, okay. and my experience overall was worthwhile and memorable. So I'm here in Mumbai. I was in, in Mumbai. Total, I visited 13 cities, 8 states. Wait, where did he go? So he started in Punjab, or is that where he ended? Well, let's just start here. Punjab, New Delhi, Uttar Pradesh, Jai, Jaipur, Rajasthan, Udaipur, where's Karachi over there? Ahmedabad, Maharashtra, Goa, Khan, Khanna, Khanna, Khan. All right, let's just move past that one. But hey, I know most of these names and pretty much all of these places after reacting to a lot of these cities. So if you ask me what any of these names were or what they looked like two months ago, I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have known. I know now. <laughs> and I covered a distance of 4,700 kilometers. I traveled strictly by land from Goa to Mumbai, oh. through Rajasthan, up to Amritsar, oh, and damn. finally the Himalayas. India is both challenging Whoa. and inspiring. Is that a kid? Hold on a second. I thought it was like a little midget. Challenging no, it's, it's a little kid, my bad. Like a roller He's coaster chilling. of ups and downs. A sensory <laughs> overload. A giant mix of good versus bad. Happy versus evil. Oh, look at the tuk tuk! The tuk tuk's so dirty! A giant mix oh, no. of good versus bad. Happy versus evil. Get a load of it. Look at that. Evil. And everything is thrown at you in the face at the same time. I learned more about myself in those three months than the last three years. Hey, that's Nothing about respect. that trip was luxury. I slept in budget hotels, ate street food, took the cheapest trains and buses to get around whenever I wasn't driving myself. And most of all, I walked and walked and walked and walked. Hey, good more fitness. More than 20, steps. That's why everyone in... Last pause of the video, but that is why everyone in India is just... They just walk everywhere, <laughs> don't they? I, I mean, a lot of people do. experience. Of this course. was before I made videos like I do today. But luckily, I filmed something oh, on my GoPro, woo! which is the footage you are seeing over my narration. The highlights of my trip to India were celebrating Holy Festival and Goa. Oh, of course, the Holy Graves on the beach. Hey, get a load of this motherfucker! Yeah, we're celebrating Holy get Festival and Goa with all night. What is going on here? What that? I mean. You might as well just put a fucking giant sign on your chest and say you're a tourist wearing this shirt. I mean, tourist, tourist. What sort of beer is that? That's, that's, yeah, look, that's, we're gonna have to fix that, mate. Night raves on the Woo! beach, temple Goodness hunting man. in Humpty, seeing the Wagga border ceremony in Amritsar, starring in a Bollywood film, playing cricket with. What the in the fuck is. Humpty, seeing the Wagga border ceremony in Amritsar, starring. Oh, Bollywood King film. Bollywood Jeez. film. Playing Thought cricket he was doing with youngsters. Oh, admiring cricket. The Taj Mahal, hey. Going on a three day camel trek in Jaisalmer Bro, no and relaxing way. in Rishikesh. Once again, my trip to India was very valuable and I have no regrets about the experience. The people are overly nice, the food is tasty, and the sights are very unique. I believe I saw India as well as anyone can in three months. Okay. <laughs> that being said, I haven't been back to India over the last few years Why for not? the following three okay. reasons. Overwhelming attention, severe food poisoning, and a near-death experience. What? Overwhelming attention. India is intense for someone like myself, who has red hair and white skin. I also stand out in places around Africa. Yeah, yeah, I could imagine. Yeah, that, like, and that is, 
yeah. I, I can but understand I what he means by that. Because I had room to breathe. It would be in pretty India, I get uncomfortable by from the second I step outside my hotel until I get back. We're talking about 1.4 billion people. Food poisoning. Unfortunately, I was brutally food poisoned three times oh! within three months. Food poisoning in India is ten times worse than I've had elsewhere. Hands and knees down on the bathroom floor, throwing up profusely, and so weak that I couldn't crawl into bed. Oh my god! Experience. One evening in Rajasthan, I boarded an overnight bus from Udaipur to Jodhpur, where I was the only foreigner on board. About an hour in, as I was about to fall asleep, the bus driver slammed on the brakes and sharply turned the wheel, and the bus flipped off oh! the and was in pieces. My life flashed before my eyes. I was covered in glass and dirt from head to toe, and had bloody elbows and feet, oh! but I was thankfully okay. Two people on that bus didn't make it out alive. Oh! Holy fuck! Damn, shout out to the man that he's okay. Damn. I was just gonna go back and say, since when could you? Since when is there a bed on a on a bus? But look, that, that there's bigger things the to bus, think about. The elbows and Holy feet, shit. but I was thankfully okay. Two people on that bus didn't make it out alive. Damn. This was my Snapchat. The follow. Just survived a gnarly. <laughs> okay. Woo. It's like, hey guys, almost just died. Um, just survived a gnarly bus. <laughs> All right, I'm not making fun. Following I'm not making fun. After this catastrophic That's event, unfortunate. I would love to give India another chance this year with new perspectives and a more yeah, optimistic give it another, attitude. Uh, if I do end up going back, yeah. which places should I visit? Any advice would be greatly appreciated. I'm Drew Binsky. And yeah, I mean, go back and no one says that you have to go and do all that stuff again. No one's saying go backpack, you know, the whole of India because you've already done that. But just go into a one location. Get yourself in an, a, an, a nice hotel and just have fun. Get on the beers like you did earlier. I mean, I don't see why not. Obviously, when the row row is obviously done, you won't be going anywhere at the moment. But hey, that is going to cap it off, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.